we write about food and, and, and design and architecture and things to do, all by location. We are top of the league there in terms of inspiration. You have suddenly a travel use case and a very monetizable one. We are the number one uh, website at this point in time. So again, that's where it becomes interesting for, for, for investors because you can turn these 20 million uniques into actual customers. Then you can start doing business. You said there's a fine line between uh, delusion uh, and, and, and determination, and, yeah. determination yeah. and success. Um, and so you meet that, that milestone moment mm. and you get now also success from your users. I think at some point you hit that sort of one million users yeah. a month. The two million allowed some validation of some hypothesis. The 20 million allowed, allowed that much more, of course. We started calling ourselves the data intelligence company, which sort of groups everything that we're already doing, but also groups the things that we have ahead of us. Because we at Calibra, we've been doing this for 11 years, but with our view on the market, uh, we have opportunity for, for another decade. We created this category of data governance. When you create a category, uh, you know, it's easy to become the market leader or the thought leader in this category because, you know, nobody else is in this category. Uh, but your challenges are very different because uh, one of the things you have to do is now you have to explain something which people don't know they actually need. We added a, a capability called the catalog, which was more about offensive uh, data strategies. How do you make money with data? We added privacy capabilities for GDPR, for CCPA and others. So we have... A data regulation that has come into place, yeah. especially in Europe. We believe this is the future. And we believe that the business will have to take ownership, will have to take responsibility over the asset, which is called data. Well, today we talked about many topics like corporate governance, uh, like how we develop a new business, in this case a startup. The EU Business School offers a perfect environment for networking. You meet interesting people. I even got to talk to one of the CEOs, which is um, something I never would have thought I would, have, I would be able to do a year ago.